monkey in your pants. So he doesn't make a YouTube video for a very long time and then he makes the same YouTube videos that everybody else has made and um, a little bit late to the party as well. But it is what it is. <laughs> hey, it's a YouTube video from me, which is a rarity more than anything else, I suppose. Um, excuse the squeaky chair. And because I've not made a YouTube video for ages, this took absolutely for ages to set up. So if the audio is weird or anything like that, my sorry. So, um, on this classic, classic, not classic, but mini classic console craze that's going on just now, we've had the Nintendo Entertainment System mini classic, the Super Nintendo classic console, the PlayStation classic console, the Mega Drive. We've had a Commodore 64 mini, but there's a better one coming out with actual keyboards. Um, we've got PC Engine one coming out next week, next week, next year, but we've also just recently had the Mega Drive version or Genesis, depending on where in the world you live. I've always liked the name Mega Drive personally. So I've got one, um, and I've got a couple of six button controllers as well, so I thought I'd have a quick look and then um, possibly a quick little look at it running as well, if I can be bothered. I suppose I've committed to that, so I'm going to have to do it now. And yeah. I tell you what, I forgot, I'm gonna go grab the original. So it'd help if I was prepared for my videos, but um, yep, anybody who's anybody who's anybody who's got any sort of remote interest in um, retro gaming probably knows what this is. Some people may be completely against it, thinking, well, what's the point of spending money on this sort of thing when you could go buy a Raspberry Pi? But it's cool. That's my answer to that. And um, do I need a knife for this? I don't need a knife for this. Good, because I'm not American, I don't have a giant, I was going to say wife, knife, to wang about um, to cut this box open. So it's a nice little box. Um, how many games has it got? 40 games. Is it 40 games? Plus two bonus titles. Hmm. We'll have a look at them in a bit. I'm more interested to see what it actually looks like. Um, it obviously looks like the Mega Drive, but a baby version of the Mega Drive. Like... Like, like the Mega Drive, child, baby Mega Drive, Genesis. So yeah, it comes reasonably well packaged in there. Um, it's got that weird sort of, that's obviously the controllers. I'm not gonna show you all the cables because it's an HDMI cable, looks reasonable length. Um, is this the box? Oh my God, this thing must be tiny. The controllers are massive. So it comes with two, three button, controllers but like I say I did buy a couple of six button controllers which I'll get onto. Um, I'll have a look at the three button pads first. Now I was never a big fan of the three button pads. Um, obviously it's classic iconic Mega Drive Genesis pads is what it is. Um, it's what you had back in the day. I bought, I remember buying, I don't talk about Mega Drive much but I did have one. I had one before I had the Super Nintendo. But I remember buying Eternal Champions when it was brand new out. It cost a crap load of money. And at the same time, I also bought um, a six button pad as well to go along with it. Um, and I much prefer the six button pad. I think it's comfier, but granted, um, the three button pad is probably more um, iconic, if you like, nostalgic. So it's a decent length cable, the cable, cable as you can see um yeah it is what it is if it'll focus um it generally just feels like a mega drive controller it's mental and the good thing is as well with it being um usb c usb c usb c um a usb cable is what i'm trying to say um you could use it for you could probably use it for a retro pie sort of thing or um, even on your PC as well, but it feels nice. Actually, it feels really nice. D-pad and everything is lovely. Um, really impressed with that, actually. There's two of them in the pack, in the package. And this is obviously the little console doodah here. Um, it's really tiny. It's pretty cool, actually. Pop it over there. Oh, yeah, I've not made YouTube videos for a while. Why? Where have you been? What have you been up to? That's a story for another day. Nothing exciting, but hey ho, we're not here for that. This thing's tiny. It's got a little um, plastic. I 
across the cartridge flap, like so. Take that off, um, and the cartridge flap even flaps. It moves, is what it does. I kind of wish that um, it had like a pretend cartridge connector in there more than anything else, but it's pretty cool because the little the volume doofer moves. I, I never used that as a kid. I know you plug your headphones in the front. I think you could use it for like a scar cable as well, but it's good that it moves. On off switch, a little reset, but ah, reset button's quite quicky. Clicky, I think the original um, wasn't clicky like that. It's sort of pressed down. I know it's got a little expansion thing that you can take off the side for where you're like, mega CD attachment would go but I thought I've got an original one here it's a bit dirty it's a bit dusty I'd love to say this is my original one from back in the day but it's not it's just an original Mega Drive but yeah you can see the size difference on this it's extremely dusty actually wow it's mad obviously technology shrinks just shows you how far we've come something this big Something this big, 30 years later, I suppose. But it's pretty cool. I do like it. I'm, I'm not even in shot anymore, am I? Maybe I am. Um, it's Diddy. It's collecting. Retro collecting is... Collecting the minis is the new retro collecting. Probably is for the young'uns who have never had these machines first time round and no real interest in them, but want to pick these up. They're probably great um, Christmas gifts, etc. Dad's out there are like, oh, I'm going to get my son this. I played Mega Drive loads when I was a kid. I'm going to get him this. Realistically, your son will probably never play it because he's got no interest in this stuff. Possibly. Um, it's cool. DC in. Power in. HDMI out. It's just a little USB plug doofer. I like that. It is so diddy. And it is so well made. Two, SU two USB ports at the front. I can't talk. It's been so long. But um, I'll get that on soon. Maybe show some gameplay of it. But... Yes, you do get two controllers with it, but because I saw these um, available order at the same time, I thought I'd get two of these, and I would have got two blacks, but because there was also a blue variant, sort of see-through blue variant, I thought, I'm going to have to buy it, aren't I? It's just the way it goes. Um, so I'll open the blue one first. See, knives in the UK, kitchen knife, blunt as anything. In America, they thought, whip out these giant bad boys. They're like... That's not a knife, this is a knife, and all that. Shaman, shaman. She's, she's, and watch this, he still cuts himself. Oh, don't come to my house, because I'll never be able to defend myself with a knife. Right. Uh, that's got a little plastic tray. A little plastic tray. So this is made by, who makes this? Can't remember. Retrobit. That's who makes this. Ooh, that's nice. So I'll chuck that down there. And um, that's the blue one actually. It's quite nice, hopefully it's gonna focus on this and not my face. It's gonna focus on that. There you go, it's got face recognition on. It kinda looks like it's my face, look. But um, yeah, it's nice sort of translucent blue material. It's got a mode button at the top. Six buttons ABC, it makes Street Fighter a lot, whole lot easier. That feels really nice actually. That does feel really nice. I do much prefer the six button pad over the three button pad. I know this is more sort of classic, original, nostalgic, but for me I always thought this was a lot more, 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 a lot more comfortable compared to the three button pad. But I'm not gonna open the black one because it's the same as this, but it's black like this. So I'm not, I'm not really even sure what games are on this system, honestly. It was one of these things, um, just on my radar as it was that it was coming out, and I was like, well, it's one of these things I want to buy. I'm going to buy, I have to buy one, because I'm not doing that. I remember when the NES, the NES that's going to get some people annoyed, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES Classic, was released, and I didn't buy one originally, and they were a bit of a nightmare to get a hold of. And I eventually had to buy one at more than the retail price. So when this was out, I thought, I'm going to have to buy one. So I bought one. And there was the opposite story with the PlayStation Classic. It went down in price rapidly. I didn't buy one of them at the start, but I did get one of them dirt cheap. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to plug in the Mega Drive 
Classic Mini. Is that what it's called? That's what we're calling it. Mega Drive. Sega Mega Drive Mini. That's what it's called. The Ultimate Computer Gaming con Game Console. The Ultimate Computer Game Console. I'll give it that. Spectrum wasn't a console. Regardless what people, some people say, I should say. But yeah, I'll plug this in. Um, we'll have a look at what games are on it together because I've genuinely not looked at the full list of games that's on the back of the console. So I'm not really sure what's all in there. Um, have a look through the menu system, see how it plays. And uh, yeah, have my quick sort of thoughts on it as well, I suppose. So let's plug it in and we'll see what's what. Oh, right then. So this is why I don't make YouTube videos. This was an arse pain to even get to set up. Granted, um, my t-shirt may go a little bit funny. Got, I got a green screen shenanigans going on behind me. And I'm, for nostalgic values, I have um, the three button pad plugged in. So the cable's a little bit winky wonky because blip blip it's got um it's been wrapped up hasn't it so english would be safe to choose <gasps> that ho holy sounds like a mega drive like a mega drive music doesn't it and up a bit hopefully that's all right for you in terms of volume you'll get the general idea sorry i'm playing with it and recording it all live so um I've genuinely got no idea what games are on this thing. What's at the bottom of the corner? Hold on. It's just a little arrow saying down. Sorry, I just moved me out of the way. So Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Never. You, you guys who are total Mega Drive buffs probably know what this music's from. I don't. But it's cool. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. All the beast classic game I had with Meg Drive originally, Space Harrier 2, Thunder Force 3, never played it, Goes and Ghosts, classic, um, Golden Axe, classic with the arcade columns, played, so it jumps a couple of times when you're going across the menu actually sometimes, the new columns, absolute classic, played that game's death, Castle Illusion, Strider, Sonic, Toe Jam and L, played that loads, um, Alicia Dragoon, played that, Loads, it was a game I had originally back in the day. Wonder Boy Monster World, cool. Kid Chameleon, cool. One of the first Mega Drive games I ever played at one of my friend's houses. What's that? Super Fantasy Zone? Yep. Um, Sonic 2, Echo the Dolphin, Road Rash 2. I had that back in the day. Um, World of Illusion, Street of Rage 2, Gunstar Heroes, never played it. Shining Force, never played it. Had Shinobi 3. What's that? Landstalker? <gasps> I had that, I think, quite late on when I had the Mega Drive. Street Fighter 2, classic, six button pad only please. Press and start to change between kicks and punches, which I think is what you do as an ass pain. Sonic Spinball, had that as well back in the day. Um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Eternal Champions, like I said, I bought that classic. Castlevania, yep, never played it, but I know what it is. Uh, Dynamite Heady, never played that, but I, did, I do remember seeing it on Games Master. Mega Man uh, and the Wily Wars, never played that. Earthworm Jim, classic. Protector or is that Contra Hard Corps or something? Fantasy Star Story of Thor? I'm screwing my face up. It could be a classic. Never heard of it. Light Crusader, also never heard of that. Comic Zone, yep, Vector Man, know what it is, never played it, which about two. What's that? Monster World 4? Never played that. Darius and Tetris. Which is um was it is that an unreleased game? So for giggles, um Let's see what is in the settings. So you can obviously arrange it by A to Z, genre, number of players, release date. Cool. I so hope that they crack this thing and we do it very, very soon because it would be amazing. Um, what's in the settings? I'm assuming who's read this before playing? Nah. Um, what's that? Oh, screen format. I get it. Is there not like CRT settings or anywhere? Oh, CRT filter. I get it, I get it, I get it. See, I'm not going to do that because YouTube doesn't work well with that. In terms of uh, video for the wallpaper settings. Uh, for the purpose of this, I will switch it off. Staff crowds will look right, okay. Turn it back to the settings, why not we do that? So I think, because it's a game that I know quite well, sorry I'm getting dry. I'll play. See, I slated the Mega Drive back in the day, but I'm liking the music that I'm hearing in my ears. I'll play this. Ooh. During gameplay, hold start to save, load, or return to the main menu. Cool. 
I do like that music. Let's go. Um, it's a game that I played to death. I think this and Columns were the first games that I had on the Mega Drive. I love the music for this game. I think it's awesome sauce. We'll just start it. This is cool as. I do love the music for this game. I never remember completing it or anything like that. But, um, yeah, it's cool. Demo. The, the D pad feels really good. I think it feels. I don't. Oh, oh sorry, that's like. But my, my dragons. Um, I think it feels. So much. Oh, I can't go out there for the battery. So much better than. The original, but maybe that's because the only original ones that I remember playing with are the ones that I played recently, which are I don't know, plain guff, old as anything. Aye, ah, even the buttons never feel really cool. Die, 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 die. My monster's having a wee bit of a hard time there. Um. Oh my god, I don't remember being as guff at this game as what I'm being now. Ah, you weird ass things. Oh. Stop it! I'm having a really hard time in terms of my ability to play the game because I'm being pumped. Nice. And what all that bing bing noises do. Oops. Honestly, I'm coming across like a right tube loop playing this. As if I've never played a video game in my life. It's cool. What happens if I press and hold start? Ah, cool. So save slots. Return to main menu. Uh, yes. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I want this machine hacked. I like that music. Um, I'll try a bit of Sonic. I do like it. I do like it. It's one of the, I think they've done a good little effort in this little machine. Um, like I say, I keep harping on, but the, the sooner it's hacked, the better. In my eyes. I tried to complete this game, and I suck. Now, like most things like this, there's probably a certain element of lag. I'm sort of feeding this through a capture card, which is probably introducing even more lag, so I'm just playing it straight from the output on that, rather than to its own little monitor. Iconic, isn't it? Absolutely iconic. Oops. Go, go, go! You little blue dude. Do, 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 do. I'm blue and I'm a Sonic the Hedgehog. But, and I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Nice! Right, we'll try one more game. Because I could literally just sit and play Sonic forever and ever more. Uh, can I go up the way? Aye. Uh, return to main menu. It's cool. I w that music is cool. Okay, what game have I not played in forever? Wish I knew what that music was from. Genuinely wish I knew what that music was from. I'll play Eternal Champions. Okay, what? I'll play Earthworm Gym. A quick blast on this is what I'll do. Alright, Jim. Earthworm Jim. Whippy, whippy, shooty. Jumpy. Right, okay. Oh! This game is also. Get up there. An absolute classic. Oops. Where's that crow would bog off? <laughs> oh! Oh, stay on there. I don't know if I want to go this way or not. <gasps> I did! I wanted that thing. Get down there, Jim. Um, I remember watching the cartoon for this as well. In the oldie days. 
I keep wanting to press the wrong button, but I am. Um, shoot. I want to press shoot. Yippee! Oh, that doesn't do nothing. Come on, Jim, you fud. I meant the, the, the worm that's Jim, not me. Jim we worm. Jim worm! Jim worm. No, that's not his name. I do just want to keep pressing the other button instead of shoot. Oh, 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 oh. So overall, yeah, I think it's really good. Good little console. Is it one of the best of these mini jobs that's been released? Um, it's impressive. I know I can go along the top there, but I don't want to. Just want to put the level. Yeah, you can emulate on a PC. Yes. For retro pie for cheaper. Yes. But come on, it's a little plug and play. Do for excellent Christmas present and convenience. I'd say more than anything else. I think they've done a really good job. Die. Oh, you little dog. Kick his ass. Looks like it was a health. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Or did I? I did want to go that I do want to go that way, I think. Wee. Don't know what that does, but uh oh. I should have really um, whipped up with that. Ah, oh, you old dog. Get off! Oh, oh, oh. What's like things? Oh, all of a sudden. I'm having a terrible time. Groovy. I thought he was going to say groovy. Wait, what way do I want to go? Oh, oh, bin man thing. Can't remember what this thing does. Ah, that. Ow. Ow. 10% health. I may die. I died. That's how long since I've played this game. Awesome little machine. Um, that was my quick uh, unboxing. And... Oh, crap balls. Oh, I did not mean to do that. What is he doing? Cancel. And um, so yeah, so initial thoughts on it, it's, it's pretty cool, is what I'll say, it's pretty cool, I like it, they've done a really good job. Now, this is hacked with all the Meg Drive games on it at some point, awesome, awesome little machine, pick it up, stick it in your backpack, take it to a mate's house, take it to a hotel if you're away on business or something, th something like that, it's pretty cool. But yeah, let me know if you've got it in the comments what your thoughts are. Um, do you like these little mini consoles in general? Or do you think they're just a waste of space? You could just get an original machine and a never drive. I suppose you could, but I quite like them. I quite like them for what they are. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But for me, those folks, it's been a while since I've said this, but thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, music. Do you have a monkey in your pants?